Howdy, ma'am. What you doing? Well, hi there, Miss Linda. I'm just reading all about Mickey and his cowboy friends going to a dude ranch and all about the good food they're eating. Well, Miss Penny, I'm interested in some good food right about now. Well, come on down to the chuck wagon and I'm going to make you a cowboy casserole. All right, bring your appetite because you're invited because you're watching Cooking, Cooking Up Wonders. Wonders with Linda Evan Shepherd and Penny Carlovato. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Howdy, ma'am. Cooking Up Wonders is back. We really aren't from Texas, but we've well, got wait some wait a minute. Good. Some of us are oh, from Texas. Oh, but I'm from the real cowboy state from <laughs> South Dakota. Oh. So this is going to be a real cowboy, cowboy dish. It's called okay. cowboy casserole. Well, what do we do? All right. First of all, let me just tell you what all we need for it. So okay. make sure we've got everything. We need a pound of ground beef. All right. That's been brown. Okay. We need a can of pork and beans. Okay. They say 16 ounce size, but it used to be 50, it's, it's 15. 15 ounces. Recession and, beans. Yeah. <laughs> but they still charge you the same thing. Uh, fourth of a cup of barbecue sauce, any kind of barbecue sauce you want. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. Chopped onion as, as desired, however much you want. I usually put in about a half of an onion, which I've already browned with the brown beef. Ground beef. And a little salt. A can of ooh jumbo flaky biscuits. Or any kind of biscuits. You can even use the smaller biscuits, whatever you have on hand, whatever you find on sale. And a cup of cheddar cheese. Okay. And you know, I said I always buy it shredded, so I don't have to do it myself. So we're going to get cooking here and get this cowboy casserole ready to go in the oven. Good, I'm hungry. And here's the recipe, and I'll see if I can still read it. We'll have a better copy for you on cookingupwonders.com. Yes. yes. So first thing we're going to do is brown the ground beef, which okay. I've already done. There we go. I've added about a half a cup of onions to it. And can we put it, in? it So go oh, ahead and okay. put it in the casserole we'll dish. Put it in. And this right. feeds about four to six. It's quite filling when you see um, we get all the stuff in. And then we're going to add the can of beans, which I've already mm. opened. Linda, if you can stir that up. Yeah, I sure can. I'm going to open up the biscuits just to get us started here so we can... Oh! <laughs> bang! I love that part. Yep, yep. Just like the Wild West. It was. <laughs> we're shooting up wonders today here. Yeah. And then we're going to add the fourth of a cup of barbecue, barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. Okay. And then a little bit of brown, brown sugar, sugar, about a, I think how much, okay. let's see if I can read on this recipe card. Uh, two tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm going to stir all that up. I'm going to add a little salt. The onions I've already put in there. Okay. They browned them with the... Oh, all right. I browned them with the onions I've already put in there. Okay. They browned them with the... Oh, all right. I browned them with the ground beef, so... Okay. You just pour it in there. Okay. So now do, do we uh, just put the biscuits on top? Or how does that I'll work? show you how we're going to do that. Just so okay. good. We're going to take the biscuits. We just got to get it all smoothed out. All right. You take a biscuit and cut it in half. So Miss Linda, would you cut those biscuits for me? Okay. So just like this, cut it mm -hmm. right, right in half. And we're going to make. I can do that. A chuck wagon wheel. We're just going to set oh. these right on top of here like this. Look at that. And when they come in from the roundup, <laughs> those little... Hard day at the ranch and all. Right. Those little <laughs> uh, cow hands are going to be pretty hungry. And we we'll go all the way around? All the way around. Okay. And depending on the size of your bowl, the uh, size of the pan that you're cooking in, you can use round, you can use whatever you've got on hand. That's what's nice about this recipe fits any size, all shapes. And then you just... There we go. Oh, look at that. It. it looks ready to put in the oven, ma'am. Well, oh, we got to sprinkle it with all this good cheese here. Got to coat it with sunshine. Mm -hmm. And don't, um, don't drain your beans because you need that the little uh, juice in there to help with the... Oh. You want to get this cheese mostly over the biscuits here. Okay. Okay, now is that not easy? Now you pre 
preheated the oven, right? I preheated the oven to 375 okay. and it cooks for 30 minutes. But keep an eye on it because depending on your oven, and that's always a good idea to even get an oven thermometer to check, make sure your oven really is at the temperature you want it. And here we are. Ooh. That Cowboy already casserole looks yummy. Ready to put in the oven. Okay, I'll get the oven. Here we go. Let's get it inside there. Okay, and we're going to set the timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, and we'll be right back after this. Watch Web TV for Women! Oh, you howdy, Linda! Hey, time's a waste, and I think it's ready. Good, let's get on now. Ooh, look wow. here! You know what? Mm -hmm. I have a magic oven. It's not like the old cowboys cooking over the old campfire stove. I'd say not. Look, your bowl changed shape. Wow. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> look at well, that. Well, it turned out pretty darn good. That is beautiful. We want to have taste it, don't we? That's right. Hey, I think one of us should go set the table. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Right I did the cooking. You can do that. I'll you set go the table. You can go get the chuck wagon already. <laughs> okay. See you in a moment. Thank you for reading the Potluck Catering Club's The Secrets in the Sauce. But did you know that the adventure begins with the Potluck Club, followed by the Potluck Club Troubles Brewing. And then we have the Potluck Club Takes the Cake. And watch soon for the all-new The Potluck Catering Club's Taste of Fame. Happy reading! Well, Linda, how'd your horse do? Pretty good, but he's hungry for some hay. Well, hey, I got <laughs> something for you, girl. Good. We've got some cowboy casserole. Yes. This is so good, and it just fills up those empty, empty tummies when you've been out riding on the range all day. Good deal. You just scoop it up. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Look at that. And With the just... biscuit overlay and then the bean and chili mixture in the middle. That looks yummy. You can have more if you eat all your dinner. Okay. All right. So we're having a chuck wagon dinner with cowboy casserole. Oh. But Linda. Good. Are you going to say grace for us? You bet I am. And I have a few words from the Word I want to share. Okay. I'm going to be reading my very dignified copy of the, the Jesus book. I'll take this tag off. This is my Hawaiian Bible in Hawaiian Pigeon. And I was thinking about thankfulness. The other night I couldn't sleep. I had all these worries going on in my head. And then mm. I began to quit counting my worries and I started to count my blessings. The next thing you know, I drifted off to sleep. And that made me want to share this scripture from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, starting in verse 16 in the Da Jesus book. Stay good inside every time, no matter what happened. Make time for talk to God every time. No matter what happened, tell God, Maloha Plenty. That's Hawaiian cowboy for thank you. Maloha Plenty. That's what God like you guys do, because you guys stay tight with God's special guy, Jesus. No go jam up what God's good and special spirit like do. When some guy go talk for God, no think junk that. Mo better, go check out everything. Then stick with the good stuff. Any kind of bad kind of stuff, stay real far away from that. Very good. Very good. That is, I love that book. The first time I heard it was at Christmas time, I think. Oh, yeah. that's right. We had a Christmas tea and Linda right shared here. that with us, so that was fun. So we go from tea parties to chuck wagon parties. You never know what you're going to find at Cooking Up Wonders. But we invite you to come on down and join us next week as we... Well, first we have to say grace. Oh, I forgot. How Dear. could I forget? <laughs> Sorry. Dear Father, thank you so much for this wonderful food and for wonderful friends. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Mm. amen. Let's dig in. Don't take my fork. <laughs> Look at these cute napkins. Oh, They've got so animals cute. on them. We're all ready to Cows go down sheep. to the okay. truck wagon. Let's see if you like mm, this. Okay. Mmm. I can't cut mine. There we go. This is actually a meal mm. with, no, not quite. It doesn't have any fruit in it. Mm. But it's got bread, meat, and veggies. Mmm. I love it. Isn't that good? Mmm. 
Well, stay tuned. Next time, we're going to be cooking up some more on Cooking Up, up wonders. wonders. See you. Bye. Bye-bye.